Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah It's important for us to know the maqasid of the sharia and the maqasid of hadir uh, It's important for us to know the intention of the rulings in the sharia and especially the intentions like behind hajjah. I don't like to busy myself or others with this huge mess, Allah, this huge issue, but it is an issue that's important because it is improperly practiced so often. We have many of our brothers and sisters who cut one another off with quickness. Some of them are from Ahlul Bidah, so we don't care when Ahlul Bidah cuts us off. But some of them are our brothers and sisters from Ahlul Sunnah. So we have to know and understand those duwabit and those principles from the uh, great a'imma, the a'imma to deen. This is not going to, I'm not going to discuss those issues, but I want to read a short statement of Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah, which affirms for us the importance of understanding that hajr can be either for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or hajr can either be for yourself. قال الشيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية رحمة الله عليه رحمة واسعة فينبغي أن يفرق بين الحجر لحق الله وبين الحجر لحق نفسه لحق نفسه شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية said it is an obligation to distinguish between making hajr that means excommunicating or cutting someone uh, you know no longer giving salams and no longer sitting with them and so forth between excommunication for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or excommunication for someone's personal benefit or for their personal reasons he said فَالْأَوَّلْ مَأْمُورٌ بِهِ وَثَانِي مَنْهِيٌ أَنْهُ he said the first type is commanded. We're commanded with this. And the second type is prohibited. Meaning that if you're making hajr of someone according to the dawabid, the criterion, and the conditions for practicing this, and it is built upon masalih, looking at the masalih and the mufasid, and that the masalih outweighs the mufasid, meaning that the harms, you're looking at the harms and benefits, and the benefits outweighs the harms, then in this situation, it will be mishroor, then it's permissible. That doesn't mean we rush to make hajr of our brothers every mistake they make or every time we perceive they make a mistake, because this is what often happens between our brothers and sisters. We perceive that someone has made a mistake, someone has made a sin, someone has fallen into bid'ah, someone doesn't agree with us on this issue, someone doesn't agree with us because we like Sheikh so-and-so and they don't like him, or their Sheikh has spoken about Sheikh so-and-so and we don't agree with him. Every single issue, unfortunately, especially in the West, but, um, but this is not just in the West, but because of the widespread ignorance, we fall into that trap. And we quickly rush to attack our brothers and sisters in Islam and harm one another's honor. And this has to cease. And we have to fight it. And that's why I'm speaking about this. And that's why our ulama before me speak about this. And why we just try to convey the message and articulate it in a way that our brothers and sisters can understand. Shaykh Islam then said, لِأَنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِخْوَةً he said, because the mu'mins are ikhwah, the believers are, are brothers. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? In the mu'minun ikhwah. Verily, the believers are brothers. وَقَدْ قَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمُ And the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, فِي, فِي الْحَدِيثِ الصحيح. In a sound hadith. لَا تُقَاتِعُوا وَلَا تُدَابِرُوا وَلَا تَبَاغَدُوا وَلَا تَحَاسِدُوا وَكُنُوا عِبَادَ اللَّهِ إِخْوَانًا Al Muslim, Akhu Muslim. The Prophet said, in a sound hadith, do not cut one another off. Do not turn your backs on one another. And do not have hatred for one another 
or enmity, and do not have hasid, meaning do you want to take away their nama, their blessings, uh, from them. Envy. And instead, be brothers, O servants of Allah. The Muslim is a brother to his brother Muslim. Right there, if we practice that, because that's the asal. If you want to know what the asal of this masala is, it's going back to Kitab Allah, Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and it's knowing that we're brothers. That's the asal. It doesn't matter even whatever I have between a personal issue between so and so and so and so, or even issues of the deen, the asal is we're brothers. Then we look at ah, this person it's it's affirmed he's made bid'ah. This person is a person from Ahl bid'ah. Not just a person fell into bid'ah, that's one issue. Or a person is aslan from Ahl bid'ah, that's another issue. This one believes in grave worship. This one believes in uh, 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 light to sawaf. This one believes, this one is a takfiri. This one supports Daesh or ISIS or ISIL or any of these criminal, uh, large scale criminal gangs. Whatever the case may be, Ya we have to be able to distinguish between these different. Uh, individuals and groups and we look at the the harms and the benefits when we deal with a person as an individual let's give us ourselves a our scenario so for example if you live in a place a real situation where I'm from there are many masajid that have an inclination towards the sunnah you find, if you make tiftish, you'll find some hezbiya there in many of them. But you'll find that their asl, alhamdulillah, they call the kitab was sunnah. And they teach books based on kitab was sunnah. So it would not be from benefit for being an individual who has differences in some aspects of, uh, maybe on some masail, or about some ulama to make fitna or to cut their brothers off in that situation. Why? Because you would be alone. And you would not, especially if you're a caller, you would not have any place to call because you'll find that they have some differences. And so, looking at the masaleh and the mufasid of that scenario, of that situation, of that country, of that mantaka, whatever the case may be, the point being, don't race to cut off your brothers and sisters. Don't race to have enmity between your brothers and sisters. Because when you look to the way that you find amongst some of Ahl Sunnah in this time, some of the Salafi'in, the hatred they have for their brothers that have the same ulama, that go to the same durus and lectures, maybe about one sheikh, one issue, they differ. They have more hatred for them than all of Ahl Bidah combined. Except that they only stop at making tech, not making tech fear of them. But they criticize, they attack their honor. They criticize and attack the honor of those who sit with them. They criticize and attack the honor of those who even utter their name. If they utter their name in a way that doesn't please them. So this is shameful behavior. And this is not in accordance with Kitab wa Sunnah. And this is not in accordance with the Salaf of this Ummah. And this is not in accordance with what we've been ordered to do. And when we should be looking at the Masada and the Mufasid, we should be building in our communities, not tearing down our communities. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyya Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.